What's going on YouTube? In this video I'll tell you about my favorite shortcuts in PyCharm. The shortcuts should work much the same way in other products developed by JetBrains like the IntelliJ for example. So without any further ado, let's dive into it. At number one we have Control B. This is a very popular shortcut that I, that I like to use in my day-to-day -day work. Um, and depending on where you use it, it will either take you to the function, class, or variable definition, or it will show you all the uses of that function, class, or a variable in your code. And then it will also let you navigate to that specific place. So if I want to see all the uses for this base page, I can select it and I can do control B on it. Now this immediately will show me all the places where this particular class is used. And then if I want to navigate to one of them, I can actually select it with my uh, with my arrow keys and I can go to that particular place in the code. Now if I am in this particular class and I use control B on the base page this will actually take me back to base page so here I'm gonna press it and it takes me back to the class definition for base page now this is much similar if you use it on functions like if I want to see where this function is used I can also do control B it will tell me and it works much the same way now on variables it works slightly different because if I select a variable here and I want to see where it's used you also see the uses but you see this <clears throat> there's a red uh, red arrow and a green arrow what this arrows indicate is the red one tells you that this this is the place in the code where this variable gets a new value and then the green one tells you that in this uh, place in the code we try to read that value so red is write green is read you can th uh, think about it that way so when you use control B on the variable you can really see like where your variable gets a new value set uh, it can help debugging a lot it kind of gives you more visibility into what's going on uh, with your variables at number two we have alt enter this shortcut allows you to fix typos do quick imports and apply suggested code refactoring so over here I have a misspelled word if I want to quickly fix it, I can do Alt Enter, fix a typo, and apply the fix that I want to apply. Now I'm still missing a package here that, that I'm referencing, so I need to import this package. Instead of typing it out over here, I can select the reference, I can do Alt Enter, and then I can choose Import, and then I can choose which import I want to do. I can apply the same thing here for the browser and very quickly we have fixed the issues that were present in this class. Now PyCharm tells me that there's still a suggestion that it has for this function. So if I select this function I do Alt Enter on the function it tells me that there are two options that I can do to fix the issues that it sees. I can either make this method static or I can create a function from this method which means remove this method from the class and create a separate function for it. So let's do static. Static makes sense. And I can do the same thing for this function as well. There are many different uh, code refactorings that PyCharm can do. It will all depend on the context where you do your shortcut. Alright, at number three we got the shift shift which is a shortcut that really helps me to navigate my project, especially if it's a large project and I don't want to use the left panel over here to, to like find which file I want to go into. 
I usually just like if I want to go to demo page I'll do demo page and then go into it same thing if I want to go to home page instead of searching for it uh, in here like going into here and then uh, double clicking on it I can just be in in my code base wherever I am and then search for home page and then go inside the home page so that really speeds up my uh, my workflow and allows me to quickly navigate um, the code base at number four we have control shift C very simple shortcut that allows you to copy the full path to a file that you have selected whether it's uh, selecting a file through the left panel like so doing control shift C uh, here you can see it copied the entire path or another way you can select it is go pick the tab do control shift C and you can see that also uh, copies the entire full path based on the tab selection very simple but very handy shortcut at number five we have Control shift alt j if you guys have watched my videos you may have seen me change code in one file in many places uh, simultaneously so which what what this uh, shortcut allows you to do is get the cursor on a similar selection within one file in many places simultaneously for example we have this by xpath um, string here if I want to get a cursor on each of these lines I can select by dot xpath and I can do control shift alt j and this will select my selection which occurs throughout this file and then it will give me a cursor on each one of those selections and then from here on I can do whatever I want okay and just for the sake of this uh, example maybe I wanted to have the X path uh, on a new line so I can just do that and that will format the X path on a new line in all of those instances so this is a great shortcut to speed up your workflow when you are refactoring some of the code in the files it is it works very well if you already had some sort of structure to your uh, to your code base beforehand though because then you can really get that uh, uh, multiple cursors in the location where you want it uh, much easier and at number six we have shift f6 this is one of the more powerful shortcuts when you are doing code refactoring specifically when you're changing names of either the files class objects or function names okay or even the variables i'm going to show you guys a an example here of changing or refactoring a function name this get actual url i want to change this name to get current url for example so if i do control b i can take a look at where this function is referencing now we have two places where this function is referenced now I can actually do this by hand. I can change the name of the function and I go I can go into the navigation suite and I can change this to uh, references here. Now I don't want to do that by hand because it takes time. So I want to be as efficient as possible. So what I do is I I select the function here, I do shift F6 and I change the name from get actual URL to get current. URL. I press enter. Now PyCharm will ask me if I want to include uh, this references into the refactoring. If I do, I just click refactor. If I don't, <clears throat> I can right click on any one of them that I don't want to include and you can say exclude. This will exclude it and then you can include it back. You can do excluding at directory level at the package level so I can do it here I can say exclude this will exclude everything under tests slash suite uh, uh, suites now I don't want to exclude anything so I'm just gonna do refactor now here if I go to you see that the name of the function changed and now if I go to navigation suite you also see that the name of the function changed here as well 
and I can navigate between the two and when I do control B on this function I can see that the references were updated. So very powerful shortcut and you can do the same thing on the file names. You can select a file and you can do shift F6 and you can do the same thing on the class name. Select the class and do shift F6 and change it. At number seven we have control shift F. This is pretty similar to the shift shift shortcut but it allows you to search on a string search on a string and search within any file in the project and you can apply masks and irregular expressions to your searches from here which makes it very very powerful tool to find things in your project now for example in the shift shift um, example I showed how I searched for uh, the click demo function you can you can do the same thing here but here it's actually it has to match uh, literally so in the shift shift I could say C demo and it would uh, give me a suggestion here I actually have to type it out and as I type it out it matches whatever it finds and then it shows me a little snippet or uh, if I have multiple um, matches I can actually navigate between those matches and I can view a snippet of code for each one of them now you can apply a mask for example, maybe you're searching for a, a particular function in a JavaScript file, but you're using PyCharm, right? Because it, it's uh, pretty common for developers to use PyCharm when they are uh, developing like a Django apps. And <clears throat> you will have uh, JavaScript files there. So if I'm searching for a particular function in a JavaScript file, I could apply a mask here for JavaScript, okay? Or for, for that matter, any other file. Whatever file you have in your project that you want to apply the mask for, you can do that. And then if you want to further uh, enhance your results, you can apply the rejects if you need it. I usually find that I'm able to find whatever I'm looking for without the rejects, uh, but the option is there and that's really nice to have it. Alright, next and final at number eight, we have Control Shift R, which is like find and replace on steroids. It is very similar. If if I open it up with Control Shift R, you will find it very similar to Control Shift F. Uh, but this allows you to find and replace certain occurrences in your project. So, and again, your your masks and um, uh, rejects is still applicable here you can still apply it um, now I want to go ahead and do refactoring for the function that we changed previously in this video I want to change and get current URL back to the way it was which is get actual URL and this time I'm gonna do it using the control shift R instead of shift F6 on the function itself to just show you that you can have the same uh, same outcome if you use this shortcut. So top line here is the current uh, string that you want to find and replace and then the second uh, text box is the string that you want to use to replace it with. So now I'm going to hit replace all, I'm going to confirm and I'm, I'm going to go back into the base page and do control B on this function to see if the users got updated and they did and if I go back to navigation suite I can see that the function name is updated properly alright guys this pretty much wraps up the video here I showed you all the favorite shortcuts that I like to use and that I use in pretty much my day-to-day -day, uh, workflows let me know down in the comments below which shortcuts you like to use. And if this video helps you out, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And as always, have a good one. Take care.